So in the last episode, we have seen that how we can create the login system for the user, but it's now time for the admin login system. So how we can create it because we can't use PHP Artisan Auth second time because it's only for one time. So we have to make changes and grab these things from other files. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And let's start this video. So if I go to admin site, so I will say admin slash home, we don't have any kind of authentication system. So let's just create that. And for that, firstly, check what we have on the template. So I will go here on the raw files on the admin and let's open any one. So open this in Chrome and here let's go to this examples and here we have this login. So this login page we can use to authenticate any user, any admin user. So let's just grab this page and let's see how we can use that thing. Okay, so for that, let's go here and find that login page. So that should be, let's go to login page. That should be inside admin pages examples. So admin pages, then examples, then login. Okay, and we have to create a new file in our resources view admin. And let's create a file called login.blade.php and this is for admin so so here we need this kind of page so let's just copy everything from this login.html and paste it here and as we know we have to change these things so let's change these thing because this is CDN we don't have to make changes here so this one and this one also and now do all these things which you know how to do these things so that's okay and let's just change this to laravel blade so now it's on the laravel blade and same thing for these script and that's okay admin and here comes asset okay and let's go to the top and you can see it says admin lt2 login but i want want to say bitfumes admin admin login and let's see other things yeah admin lte no not lt admin bitfumes okay sign in to your to start your session and now we want to give any action to the form and that route will be admin.login we don't have this route but we will create that route but because we are on the level so we have to use csrf field csrf field okay and you can see in this input we don't have any name so let's give it to the name of email and similarly this name of password and uh, let's see that's okay we don't need any social login that's okay we don't need registration on this single page so we don't need this social login we don't need any register new member from this page because when you are creating this kind of thing you have to create one username password and give it to the super admin and that super admin will create other users so that's why we don't need this one also and let's create the route so i will go to web.php file and here at the bottom inside this namespace of admin because we will create our controllers related to auth of the admin inside this admin folder so i will create here and i will comment it here admin auth routes okay so i will say here route dot get and here comes admin dash login that will be where will be here 
on the auth folder and login controller let's do one thing let's search for router.php we have seen the router.php inside the framework source eliminate routing router and go to line number 1009 so that's uh, is here okay and you can see this these routes for the user login but we want similar kind of route so this route is for login so i will copy that route and paste it here and it is not this it is here route and this will be admin dash login so whenever i go to admin dash login i want to go that to auth login controller on show login form so we have to create these controllers so where we create these so we don't have to create because we have this auth folder for the user let's copy this folder from here and paste it inside this admin and here you can see this admin we have and now we have to do one thing you can see if you go to login controller the name space is app http controllers auth but now this login controller i'm not talking about the login controller for this folder this auth the auth which is inside admin i'm talking about that okay so we have to change this to admin admin okay and same thing for this forward password also so admin slash so i will copy it because we have to do this two more times so that's okay and one for this also okay so we want this show login form function on our login controller that's okay but we don't have that here you know where it is it's inside authenticates users.php let's search for authenticate users.php and here you will find this show login form so we have to override this because this one is for our user that's why it's auth.login but we have to override this inside our admin login controller so paste it and instead of auth i will say admin.login because our admin login view is inside resources views admin and login so admin.login so let's go here and i will say admin dash login and it's now giving admin dot login not defined okay so this error comes because if you go to login dot blade we have given the form action as admin dot login it says this route is not present so now we have to go to web dot php file and you can see this is login but it has to be admin dot login not only login because the login named route is already reserved for user so that is admin dot login that's okay go back refresh and yes we have this here and we just have to make some changes for our route okay so we have these things so next is we have to post this login information so again go to router and you can see this is having the post request of the login for user but we have to make changes for our admin section so let's create that route and if you observe this properly you have to make here admin dash login and these two has to be same otherwise it will not be the same name to have the same name if you call admin dot name route and that is a get request it will go to show login form but if you call admin dot login route and that is a post request it will go to login function inside your login controller let's go to login controller but again we don't have any login function because that is inside here authenticate users so we have this let's copy this one and copy this and again overwrite this from here and we have overwritten this and now we don't need this too many attempts yeah we need validations now we don't need uh, incremental and we don't need this uh, let's send send failed login response okay that's okay 
and let's go one more time refresh this page and sign in and it says request not found okay so you can see we are using this request here so we don't have it included so let's go again to authenticate users so at the top let's copy this because we need this auth later also so oops not here paste it and now when I go refresh and you can see it's now redirecting to the same page because it's not find anything let's log in with the user information so I'm logging as a user information not the admin information so signing in and it's again redirecting to the same page there is some kind of problem so let's include uh, the message the error message at the top so I'll open login.blade.php for admin here I will say at include and includes dot messages okay why I have done this because we have created a page messages.blade.php inside includes folder which will get the message and display okay so refresh sign in and credential does not match if I say bitfumes one two three four five six sign in again it says nothing because it's now logged in but we don't want this kind of thing because you can see it's locked in so we will see how we can use all these thing and how we can create a whole new section for the admin in the next episode so if you have any doubt obviously you will have doubt but don't worry i will provide these things in the github repository so you will check out every commit so just check out for the commit of after part 21 uh, so you will find that files for that particular part okay so don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to share this video with your developer friends because laravel is so great and it will make you happy and please spread this happiness so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye